Hi, welcome to the Northwest Car Blog. For this episode, I'm going to continue my look at boiling alternatives and particle baits for carb. Just out of sight down here, I've got a sack of maple peas, and that's the subject of this video today. I'm going to take a look at maple peas, I'm going to show you the sack, we're going to open it, have a look at them, we'll get some on soak, boil some up, and then tomorrow we're going to go fishing with them and see if we can put a carp on the bank. So, let's get straight in and have a look at that sack. Okay, so here we go. This is a sack of Bamford's Top Flight. As you can see, it's uh, actually pigeon feed maple peas and a very popular one at that. Now, I'm going to show you the bottom so you can see how much you've paid for it and how much is in it. So, let's tip it up on its end and see how much it costs. Okay, so here we are. This is the bottom of the sack. As you can see, it's well labelled. Maple peas, 20 kilos. And the price tag over here says 10.99. I know, in a world of, uh, what, 10, 15 quid for the kilo of boilies, frozen boilies, a 20 kilo sack of maple peas is uh, very, very kind on your bank balance and they make a good alternative to boilies as well. So now you've seen the bottom of the sack, let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. Now, when you cut the side of one of these bags, as I've done here, you get a little tie there and all you have to do is pull it and it should come off all the way. See that coming across, so what I've got to do is yank it. And that's it. That's the string that was holding it together. And the bag itself is open. So let's take a look inside. And here we go, as you can see. A whole load of maple peas. Let me get my hand in. That's what maple peas look like small brown peas now we can't feed them to carp like that they need to be soaked and boiled so we're going to stick some in a bucket soak them for 24 hours and then boil them for about 20 minutes okay but that's what they look like in their dry form maple peas when they're finished they'll be small round peas about 10 millimeter in in diameter so a bit like a mini boilie and quite soft at the moment they're rock hard, if I take a couple out, just grab one of them between my fingers, try and squash that, it's like a bullet. Okay, so we can't use them like that, we soak and boil them first. So let's get some out and stick them in a bucket and then we'll leave them for 24 hours, we'll come back and cook them and then I'll take them fishing. Okay, marvellous. Right, so okay, here's my bucket. I've, uh, I've not put that many in, about an inch and a half in the bottom, enough for the day's fishing. So there's about a pound, pound and a half of maple peas there, which will do for the day. And what I'm going to do is cover them with water. What I've done is I've put twice as much water as the depth of the peas. So working in inches, for me, if I've got an inch of maple peas in the bottom, there'll be two inches of water on it. Okay, it's double the height from the side of the bucket. So if it's that far from maple peas, and then I've doubled it in the water, that's because they're gonna expand quite a bit. So we'll leave them. As they are, let the water do the magic on them. And uh, we'll come back to them in 24 hours time, bang them on the stove and get them cooked and ready to go carp fishing with. Okay. Jobs are good. Okay, I'm in my kitchen now. 
These are the maple peas from yesterday. As you can see, they've come right up. There's literally just a couple of millimetres of water on top of them now. And uh, they've all expanded. So we just need to boil them for 20 minutes and then they'll be done. Let's get them on the stove. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hand over the bucket, tip all the water into my pan behind me, and then I'm going to bring that to the boil, and then add the peas. when that water's boiling we'll add the peas in. Right, this water's boiling so I'm going to add the peas now. Now obviously that's taking the water off the boil so we'll let it come back up again until it's simmering and then we'll back the gas off and give it 20 minutes. Now, as you can see on the other camera, it's boiling away. So what I'm going to do is back the gas off. just going to let them gently simmer like that for 20 minutes and then they're done. You can give them a stir every now and again if you want. Well, they should be well done in 20 minutes. One little tip I'll give um, I've got a kettle next to me here as you can see, it's full of water that's boiled. Um, one thing that does happen when you're boiling particles for long periods of time, like 20 minutes, is evaporation of the water. So again, keep a check on them, top it up if you need to, just reboil the kettle and pop a bit more water in. But apart from that, we wait and then we're done. Well, as you can see, these are coming along nicely. We're about halfway through at the moment. One more little tip I'll give about cooking particles for 20 minutes or half an hour. Open your doors or windows because you get an awful lot of condensation. Right, I'm at the end of my 20 minute boiling process now. So all I'm going to do, turn the gas off. I'll leave them in the water that they're in. I'll grab my bucket. And I'm going to tip these back into the bucket. We'll let them cool down. And then I'll show you a very, very scientific test for showing that these are actually ready. So we can test them and check them ourselves. But obviously I'm not going to put my hand in boiling water, so... We'll wait until they've cooled. This is going in the sink to wash and these can go back to my office until they're cooled. job done. Okay so that's maple peas. We soaked them for 24 hours and we boiled them for 20 minutes and they're done. Uh, I've got the bucket down here with the finished maples in. It's cooled down so let's take a look at them 
and we'll take a look at the highly technical tests we use to check that they're actually done. Okay, so that's the P. 10, maybe 8 millimetres in diameter, about the size of a mini boilie. And the way we check that they're done is we we'll take it between our fingers which you saw me do before and uh, I was I was squeezing it and pressing it and it was like a bullet now when I press it it squashes see that? and that was under really gentle pressure and it, it squashed the bits and that's how we checked that they're done you know they're not like bullets anymore they're fully expanded so they're not going to cause any problems as they pass through the carp's gut they are absolutely perfect so what I'm going to do now as I said, I've got me cork balls soaking in there. We're going to go fishing with these and I'll show you the presentations I use for fishing with them. One's a cork ball snowman and the other's just a straight maple pea on the bottom. And I'll tie both rigs up, show you them and you can see the presentation I use for them. So, let's go on the bank. Okay, so I've come to a local lake and I've brought me buckets of maple peas with me. Let's take a look at the rigs I'm using and how I present the peas. Okay, so here we are on the bank and these are the two rigs I'm using for fishing maple peas. The first rig here on the left is just a standard bottom bait. It's a knotless knot hair rig with a size 12 quarter curve hook. Okay. The second rig is critically balanced. That's a maple pea on the bottom and that's a 10mm cork ball. Now a 10mm cork ball is great for making pop-ups but holding a maple pea up it's too buoyant. So what I've done is I've trimmed it down so it looks like an apple core and that will just sink. I've balanced it in the edge and it just sinks. Okay and that's fish KD style so Instead of being whipped right up the shank, braid comes out at the bottom. And they are two absolutely fantastic presentations for fishing with maple peas. Can't get much better than that. So I'm going to drop these in the edge now. Just fish the margins, I'll drop them in quietly. I've already baited up, put some baits in. And uh, I've got about four or five hours to see if it can catch a carp. So I'm going fishing. Well, there you go, as you can see, one maple pea, one piece of cork that looks like an apple core in a snowman, and I've managed to get myself a small mirror. I've only been fishing for a few hours, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, maple peas, what a great bait for carp. Well, I've just popped down to be local for a few hours, give the maple peas a try after cooking them up before. As you can see, I've had a small mirror. I saw a few fish moving, so I dropped on them. Put a snowman, maple pea, which is maple pea on the bottom, and a trimmed down cork ball on the top, just so it sinks slowly. And uh, put a couple of handfuls of maples over the top, and this little fella took the bait. Oop. So there we go, maple peas, great bait. 11 quid for 20 kilos so anytime you feel like you want to fire your bait company get on these instead 